Hey everybody, Chris Serino here from the Sultana Education Foundation. Today I'm on the Chester River in Chestertown and I wanna be using this net to catch some plankton, some animal plankton or zoo plankton. So what are plankton? Plankton are animals whose movements are ultimately controlled by the tidal currents, they're drifters. Most people have the misperception, misconception that plankton have to be really tiny. Well, that's not actually true. A jellyfish might be three feet long, but it gets buoyed around by the current. So jellyfish are considered plankton. To catch plankton, I'm gonna be using this very simple net. It has a, a net, it has a very fine mesh. You can see my hand there. So the mesh lets algae flow through, but hopefully it'll catch a few animals. And I have this little test tube that I insert. It goes down to the bottom. We'll pull the net along this dock and hopefully the creatures will end up in this little tube at the bottom. All right, so I got my net here. I'm gonna skim it along the surface of the water. It's just like walking the dog. And hopefully there's some zoo plankton, most of which are gonna be these little shrimp-like creatures called copepods that we'll catch when we get to the end. Okay, so we've pulled the net. I'm going to try to get this tube out from the bottom without spilling it. And hopefully we'll have some little planktonic creatures in there. Oh, I can see that we do. Let's hold this up to the light. Can you all see that? There are literally thousands of creatures in there. Most of them are these little shrimp-like crustaceans called copepods that never get much bigger than that. Now, why are these important? These are critical because they're the base of that food pyramid, right? So if I'm a, a striped bass or a white perch and I'm spawning here and I have little larval fish, they're getting born into a virtual plankton soup. This is the key to the whole food chain here in the Chester River and indeed the Chesapeake Bay. We're lucky to be doing this in mid-March because this is the peak of the copepod population for the entire year. Did y'all even know that? Look at that. So these little plankton in here are about the size of the tip of your pencil, so they're kind of hard to see, but if we were to magnify them, they look like this, and they've got these antenna. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this pipette and grab a few out of the bottom of this vial, these thousands of copepods, and I'm gonna put them on this viewfinder. You can even see, even in that one drop of, look at that, look at that, look at that. And then I'm gonna pop this on the top and it will magnify this teeming mass of life that we caught along the surface of the Chester. So go ahead and zoom in there and we'll see what we got. Copepods, the base of the food pyramid. So there you have it. Next time you're walking along the Chester River, especially if it's around this time, mid-March to about mid-April, just imagine if we were to magnify how many plankton are just right in that little area that where we drag that net and multiply it by this whole river. This is an incredibly, incredibly productive body of water teeming with life and this is the base for that whole system right there